Peach is a text-to-speech reader that is available on Android, iPhone, iPad, and Mac if you have the Apple M1 chip. It also has a Google Chrome extension, and the app has so many subscription options, it's confusing, but the one I got was $69.99 a year, $6.99 a week, and $59.99 for six months. Well, those are the options that displayed when I got the app. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications to join the family. If you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. For slower, step-by-step -step tutorials of the apps that we review, you can head over to our website, Paperless Humans, our second YouTube channel, or Udemy. We will have all the links to those in the description down below. This review is focusing on the iPad version of the app. Peach is the most minimalist app I have ever seen. It is refreshing just looking at it. But I couldn't help but wonder just how functional the app actually is. The first option you have for your text to speech in the app is to type plain text. After writing and naming your document, you can save it to the library where you can then listen to it. I'm not sure how useful that is. I mean, has any of you guys ever wanted your own writing read out to you? Without any grammar checking, this feature feels a bit pointless. But let me know if this is something you've ever wanted. You can import a document into the app and I wanted to push the app's limit. So I went with a scanned document, even though the app has an option to scan documents directly. OCR extracts the text into plain text format, which obviously works better with non-technical documents, but it is very accurate, impressively so. Whatever document you bring into the app, Peach will turn it into plain text, including web pages. I was surprised it brought in that embedded video. The text-to-speech reader is great. The public beta of iPadOS 18 is also available now. Not sure how long it's been around. Are any of you guys trying it out? It sounds natural and doesn't have that annoying AI sound to it. I was looking for some information on Apple intelligence. I love that the app highlights where it's reading, so it's super easy to follow along. There are a few times when this has failed though, but it's just a minor bug that doesn't disrupt the reading, so it's not a problem. Peach has two voices, one male, privacy settings, one female, really hate how we have to manually turn off, you can't choose the voice that you're listening to. It is the first time I'm seeing this limitation in an app of this kind, and it just made me wonder if this would actually work in other languages. If any of you guys have used the app to read a non-English text, do let us know in the comments. It might help someone. One voice reads titles and the other your paragraphs, but that is only if they are clearly marked in your document. Writing tools. My first stop was Apple Notes, naturally. What can we do in the app now? The voices alternate with every new document you bring in, and since we don't have any control over what voices we listen to, I thought it's actually great that they change because then it wouldn't be annoying if you only had to listen to one voice which you might not like. To be fair though, both voices are actually great. I didn't have a problem with either of them. The minimalism in Peach means everything you need to do in the app is intuitive. It's easy to start listening to your documents and even adjust the readout speed, which ranges from 0.75 to 2 times. Not a wide range, but still better than nothing. I wish tapping different parts of our documents allowed us to skip to them, so we look forward to having that in the future. At the moment, the app divides your documents into parts that you can skip to, but it's not as precise as I would like it to be. You can change the font size of your text. Smaller text fits more information on the screen and bigger is more visible, but displays less information. 
What do you guys prefer? The bigger text is not even that big. It actually just feels like normal text. There is not much you can do in the app after that. The search tool only searches through the titles of your documents and the settings are few. You're only here for faster, stress-free reading. You don't need that many features, right? I love that they have a dyslexia-friendly font that is very thoughtful of the developers. Like everything else in the app, organization is very simple with just tags that form tabs above your document. That setup already feels limiting, like how many tabs can you fit up there? Turns out, quite a lot. That you might have to scroll the more tags you add. It's not the best organization setup, but I can imagine I would need any of it, to be honest. If I just want to quickly read through some documents, then organization is not that important. A recycle bin would have been helpful to have though, in case you accidentally delete something that you might want back. For now, you have to import it again. It's exhausting just thinking about it. I thought I could get more from the Google Chrome extension, so I downloaded it and attempted to log in, but failed to. Twice. At first, I thought that I had made a mistake somewhere, but on the second attempt, I knew that there was something wrong with the extension. So I called it quits on that endeavor. If you have a lot of documents you need to go through that you don't want to read yourself, Peach is a handy tool. It's not clear whether or not all of this happens on your device. Something we usually want to know. Anyway, given its simplicity and limited options for $5 per month, if you pay the yearly subscription, of course, it's not a bad deal. You're limited to only reading from within the app. It doesn't have a Safari extension and the Google Chrome one is not working. I wish we could use it across all the apps on the iPad. It'll just make life easier, but I have seen worse AI tools that are ridiculously expensive, but Peach actually works. Are any of you guys interested in a tool like this? Or do you know a better one that I should check out? Do tell. For slower, step-by-step -step tutorials of the apps that we review, you can head over to our website. Paperless Humans our second YouTube channel, or Udemy. We will have all the links to those in the description down below.